Working with a document's outline can be a great way to organize your writing. Word provides a variety of tools for working with outlines, including tools that allow you to adjust the heading levels of elements in your outline. Word contains a powerful outlining system that allows you to quickly make changes to document structure. This is done in outline view, which is invoked by displaying the view tab of the ribbon. And then we would choose outline right here at the top. When we do that, our screen looks quite a bit different than it did a moment ago. But the thing that I wanna do now is I'm gonna use this show level tool right up here and I'm going to choose that I want to display, uh, we'll say through level two. Now we can see that we have all the level two headings that are within our document visible on the screen here. If I wanted to, I can just go to level one headings and we can see all the level one headings. To make it even more readable, I can also turn off the show text formatting right here. And that allows me to see all of my level one headings within the document. Since it's easier to read these right now, I'm going to go ahead and display again all the way down through level two. And we can see that each of the level one headings has been expanded or exploded a little bit, if you will, to show all the level two headings underneath it. If I want to change the heading level that's used by a particular heading, all I have to do is click on the heading that I want to change, and then I'm going to go and use these tools right up here. There's a promote option, and there's a demote option right up here. Notice that this, where I am within this heading, is a level two heading. It shows that to me right up here. If I want to promote it, all I have to do is click on the promote tool, and now all of a sudden, notice down in the document that it changed it to a level one heading. And that's reflected right up here as well. I could also use the down arrow and change the heading level that it is using any of these within that drop down list. So that's how you use the tools within the outline view to be able to change the level that a particular heading is at within your document. When you're done working in outline view, you can go back to print layout view by clicking on the proper tool, and then you're back into your document. At this point, I typically press control end to go to the end of my document, and then control home to go back up to the top of the document so that uh, I can see the document the way that I intended it to be. By the way, this document that's on the screen here this is basically a copy of Word Tips the Macros. I'll provide a link in the video description down below in case you want to go ahead and get that document. It's 900 and some odd pages worth of information about how to use macros within Microsoft Word. I hope that you found this quick tip helpful. If you did, please click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon. That way you'll be informed whenever I add a new video to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.